magandang araw po sa inyong lahat at isang balwalhating Merkules. Ngayon ay July 14 at welcome sa Wednesday edition ng The Stock Market Today. Ito po ang lingkod, Benji Chadoro. Uy, halos kalahati na po ng buwan, ano? At uh, ako po ay isang retired bank officer who started to invest in the Philippine stock market in 2007. And uh, I do this report daily. I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks. And if you like the content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. If you have stocks in mind that you want reviewed, please comment on the comment box and I will prioritize. Ang balita po natin ay tungkol sa SMC Global. At uh, meron po tayong special report sa VLL. At ang resulta ng trading sa ating Philippine Stock Exchange ngayong araw, July 14, 2021, dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today. From the business world, SMC unit plants a 300 megawatt hydro plant in Aklan. A unit of SMC Global Power Holdings Corp is planning to build a 300 megawatt pump storage hydropower plant in Malay, Aklan to provide the Visayas and reserve power, with reserve power rather, according to documents from the Environment Department. In its project description, Strategic Power Development Corporation said that the pumped storage facility will operate along Nabawai or Nabawai and Imbarato, Imboroto rivers aims to supply a portion of renewable energy requirement to the Visayas grid, particularly during peak hours. This will also contribute to the stabilization of the Visayas grid by providing ancillary services and picking power, the firm added. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources, or DNR, said on its website that it would hold public scoping for the planned facility via Zoom on July 28 as part of its environmental impact assessment process. Strategic Powers planned hydro project will consist of two dams or reservoir, power waterways, and an underground powerhouse that can be reached through a 577-meter access tunnel. The SMC Global Power wholly owned subsidiary said that the project's construction is expected to generate employment and livelihood opportunities for locals. It is said that host communities living in the area also stand to benefit from the operations of the pump storage hydro plant as they will receive a portion of the power sales, or 1 centava per kilowatt hour, in line with Republic Act 9136 or the power Electric Power Industry Reform Act of 2001. In 2014, the Energy Department awarded a hydro service contract to Strategic Power, allowing it to develop the hydro facility. SMC Global Power's parent firm, San Miguel Corporation, recently dropped clean coal power plant projects with a combined capacity of 1,500 megawatts as the firms detailed its plans to add more renewable energy in its portfolio. Now may I share with you the commentary of BDO Nomura on the said Okay, can you see that? Ang sabi po niya ay, we think that this project is positive for SMC as it should generate incremental revenues in the long term. We have a neutral rating on SMC, however, as a stock already trades at a premium relative to peers, at a premium relative to peers. Yan po yung full year 21 forecast, PE or price-to-earnings ratio of 33.6 times 
versus the conglomerate average of 19.4. So, medyo mataas po yung 33.6 against 19.4. Almost uh, double, ano? So, that's our news for the day. And let's see what happened to the PSE today. But before we go to that, I'd like to share with you, or may I... Um, or answer the question or the comment of Mike Miguel yesterday ang sabi niya dito request ko lang sir ang review niyo on VLL or Vistaland I think it's another undervalued stock na may big potential still pondering on whether to enter or not thanks okay so we'll be tackling VLL first after we review the we go to the index. Let's take a look at the index first. Okay, the PSEI gained 40.28 points to end at 0.59% or 6835.41 or 0.59% up. Pero malaki po yung nawala yesterday, eh, no? So, this is just a very short green candlestick which actually looks promising. Pero anything can happen po, no? Kasi uh, sideways to uh, bearish po ang sentiment ni PSEI. And I think this is already support area. This is the support area already. And kung titignan po natin yung market summary, 117 companies declined, 70 advanced while 58 remained unchanged. The all share index also showed a positive result. Not much. It's 11.72 uh, points long or 0.28%. While the sectoral indices, only the properties and the services registered a decline. The financials, holding companies, industrials, and mining were in the green. And um, gainers was led by the holding companies at 1.13%. Now, as for the market status, we'll be reviewing the top 10 stocks. We'll start with VLL, the request of Mike Miguel, then Ali, ICT, LTG, SMPH, BDO, ASEN, TEL, DMC, and Converge. Yan po yung top 10 stocks natin. Okay, so let's start with our first stock, VLL. So before we go to um, the analysis, the technical analysis of VLL, let me share with you first the fundamentals. And uh, I happen to find this one from BDO Nomura, or BDO actually. At, uh, this this write-up is as of April 23, 2021. No? And uh, this is the... Um, opinion or the study of BDO Nomura on Vista Land and Landscapes Inc. They have a buy rating of 460 because of the following. No? Ang sabi niya dito, full year 20 earnings down 45% year on year in line with estimates. So that is a, well, shall we say unexpected negative because of the pandemic, assume, I assume. And then, sabi niya dito, essential tenants and captive community support mall leasing revenues. So, meron siyang revenues na ina-expect, no? Overall leasing revenues amounted to 7.2 billion in full year 20, down by a softer 7% year on year. And then, meron yung management outlook niya of the market is optimistic. And uh, action valuation which is the conclusion of uh, BDO is that to maintain a buy and keep a target price of 460. So based on the target price of uh, 460, the closing price last Friday was, uh, or the closing price was malapit ba? Tingnan natin. 363, that's close enough. Ano? So there's an upside of about 25%. So that is based on fundamentals. Pero nasa 363 siya ngayon. Balik natin. Tama ba? Okay, nasa 363 ngayon si Vistaland. 
and that's a 460 yung kanyang target price ano? which means that the target price would be somewhere here yan within that vicinity po yan 460 so medyo um, malayo pa no kung titignan natin from the candlestick stick chart medyo malayo pa siya but from how it performed today it lost uh, 7 centavos with support actually this is already support level 364 is already support and resistance is here at uh, about 390 to 4 pesos po dyan lang po naglalaro si Vista Land but according to fundamentals 460 po ang kanyang upside which is the estimated value of the stock so it's still attractive based on fundamentals and uh, if you wanted to get in nasa support area na po siya tingnan natin kung merong enough yes i think there is enough there's enough support pero antayin po na, muna natin ano yung susunod na na candlestick kailangan po mag green candlestick muna yan para ma confirm po natin na merong bounce Yun po ang aking take sa Vistaland. It's a good company actually with a good upside. But if you will make your target price for 60, ay magchachaga lang po tayo dahil hindi agad-agad ay aakit yan sa 460. Magaantay po tayo dito. So that's my take for Vistaland. And then Ali. Okay. Si Ali naman. Okay. Ali is bearish to sideways with support lagay na po natin sa EMA 100 ano, sa 35 35.72 po ang support niya though it um, closed above support level at 35.95 but still it is within that area yan po si Ali with resistance nandito po within this vicinity po yan nasa 37.89 ano? 37.92 38 pesos ang resistance level niya and then after Ali is ICT mabagal lang po yung internet posensya na po yan ICT continues to move up 167.50 lang parang si ASEN at saka si Converge ito no, yung forma ng kanyang candlestick plus yung indicators natin actually this is already the highest a 52 week high yung yung inabot niya na 167.80 ay uh, this is already the highest so it's reaching new highs already kaya po hanggat ganito po yung formation ng ating candlestick still hold on to the stock if you are a short term investor pero ICT po is a good company yun lang po ang masasabi ko sa kumpanyang ito and then we have LTG Okay, LTG nag-dive siya. And this is already the lowest, I think. 52-week low is... Uh, oh no, it's not. It's not a 52-week low. The 52-week low is uh, 1078. Kung fundamentals po ang pag-uusapan natin dyan, ay ang LTG, ang tunay na pressure niyan, o yung pressure na target price ni BDO Nomura is 1650 or we say an estimated upside of about 40 to 50 percent 45 to 50 percent so kung pagbabatayan po natin ay ang technicals ay nasa bearish side po siya with actually this is already hindi po the support area is i would say yung matatag na support area nandito po Nasa 913. So, tingnan po natin ang susunod na kabanata dahil malaking candlestick po ito. No? Dalawang sunod at merong selling volume po dito. At yung next uh, support level is nasa 910 to 920 po. Yun po ang masasabi ko dito sa LTG and then SMPH. May news kaya dito? Kaya ba nagkakaganito ito? Tingnan po lang po natin ano, kung meron tayong balita. Sorry po, mabagal po ang aking internet. 
may cash dividends wala wala masyadong news dito okay SMPH is next okay SMPH also fell by 40 centavos to end at 35.05 so yung RSI niya is also, also bearish at uh, 37 so bearish po siya be below our indicators na po ito at um, yung price niya ngayon is already support area and the next support area after that would be here at uh, 3380 to 3390 now when i talk of support and resistance hindi po siya exact points but these are areas tapos po tingnan naman natin si BDO ang bagal talaga ng internet so may mga times na talaga mabagal ito so nag recover po si BDO nag bounce po siya sa EMA50 at 110 support area po yun yung 110 110.20 to 100 well that, that's a vicinity actually or an area tapos uh, nag end siya at 111.50 yung kanyang resistance naman ay nandito po sa 115 115 50 to 115.60 po yung next resistance area po ni BDO and then ASEN I think ASEN went up Oh no, it uh, ended with a red candlestick with a 4 centavo uh, decline, ano? Pero above the candlestick pa rin po ang ating mga indicators which would indicate ay a bullish trend. Yun po si ASEN. And then TEL. Si TEL is isang stock na undervalued. Pero mukhang hindi pa napapansin ng mga investors to, no? So negative sentiment siya. So, the support of TEL is somewhere here. Sa 1264 to 1270 po. Yung support level ni TEL. Pero ang tunay na presyo po niyan ay nasa 1600. 1600 po ang tunay na presyo niyan. So, bearish talaga ang sentiment. Probably because of the negative uh, news that we have on the Philippines. Na si Fitch, ano? na may negative uh, rating siya in the, on the economy of the Philippines. And then DMC, so that affected not only the TEL stocks, but most of the stocks in the index and in the PSE. DMC had a recovery. And look, there is volume in this very short candlestick. Yes, and there is volume here. So... Maaring in the next days, day or two, ay mag-bounce po ito. So, nasa bullish to, actually it's uh, bullish pa rin po ang masasabi ko po dito sa DMCI. And uh, kung titignan po ninyo yung potential ng stock, napaka laki po ng binagsak niya, ngayon lang siya nakaka-recover. Yan po, umabot po siya ng mga more than 20 pesos eh. Mababa pa po yung 638 Ayan, no? O dito, at one point, it reached a high of, um, hindi naman 20, no? Mga 15 or 16 pesos. Yan po ang DMCI. So, maganda po yung uh, stock na ito because it's a power company as well as a real estate company. And then, finally, we have Converge. Yan, Converge continues to move upwards pinaka-high po niya ay 24.15 which occurred uh, today, you know, and uh, 24.40 po yung fundamental price po niya at uh, maganda po yung kanyang indicators if you continue to hold on to the stock continue to hold, you know, because very bullish po ang kanyang presyo yung kanyang support ay nasa EMA20 at 22.51 when I talk again of support and resistance, these are not exact points, but these are areas. At yan po ang ating balita, ang ating report sa stock market, July 14, 2021. Ito po si Ben Chichadoro, nagpapaalala, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat pa sa inyong pag-subscribe at pagtangkilik at hanggang sa muli. God bless and bye for now.